Hello friends in this part, we will learn, how to real-time display, user online or offline status, by using Ratchet WebSocket library under this chat application with PHP script. In previous part, we have seen, real-time unread chat message push notification using Ratchet WebSocket library, under this chat application, with PHP script. Same way now, we want to display user online or offline status in real time, under this chat application, using Ratchet WebSocket library, with PHP script. So for this, we have open private chat.php file, and here we want to make logout button. For make logout button, here we have write input type is equal to button, ID is equal to logout, name is equal to logout and value is equal to logout, so when user has click on this button, login user will be logout from chat application. Now we have go to jQuery code part, and here we have write dollar with button id logout, with click event, so when user click on logout button, then this block of code will execute. So under this block, we have write user id variable is equal to dollar with hidden field id login user id with value method. This code will fetch value from hidden field and store under this user id variable. Below this, we have start write ajax request, so in ajax request, we have write first option url set to action.php file, so it will send request to this file. In second option, we have write method, and here we have write post, so it will use post method for send data to server. In third option, we have write data, and under this option, we can define which data, we want send to server, so here we have define user id variable, and action variable with leave as value has been sent to server, with this ajax request. And in last ajax option, we have write success callback function, this function will be called if ajax request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server. Under this function, we have write response variable is equal to json.pass method and under this, we have write data variable. Below this, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write response.status variable is equal to 1, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write connect.close method. This method will close WebSocket server connection. And after this, we have write location variable is equal to index.php. So it will redirect page to index.php file. So here our jQuery code is ready. Now we have go to action.php file. So here we have already write code for logout in one of the our previous tutorial, so here we do not need to write again. Now we have go to source folder, and open chat.php file, and here we have directly go to on close method, because when connection has been close, then this method has been called. Under this method, we want to get logout user id value, so we can send message to other user regarding offline status of this user. So here, we have write query string variable is equal to dollar $connect variable with HTTP request with get URI method. This method will get the fill request URI from the established connection object. Then after, we have write get query method. This method will convert URI into string, 
So this code will return newly established connection URI in string format, which we have stored under this dollar $query string variable. Now, we want to convert string into array, so here we have write pass string function, with two argument, in first argument, we have write dollar $query string variable, and in second argument, we have write dollar $query array variable, so this function, will convert string URI into array, and store under this dollar $query array variable. Next under this method, we want to use chat user class method. So here we have write dollar user object variable is equal to new with forward slash chat user class. Below this, we have write dollar user object with set user token method. And under this method, we have write dollar query array token variable. So here, we have set user token variable value. Now based on this token value, we want to fetch user ID from MySQL database. For this here, we have write dollar user data variable is equal to dollar user object with get user ID from token method. This method will fetch user ID from database using token string value. First we have go to chat user class, and here we have make get user ID from token method. And under this method, we have write dollar $query variable is equal to select user ID from chat user table, where user token is equal to double colon user token. Below this select query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar this with connect variable with prepare method. And under this, we have write dollar $query variable. This method will make query for execution. After this, we have write dollar statement variable with bind param method, with two argument, and in first argument, we have write double colon user token, and in second argument, we have write dollar this user token variable. Now we want to execute above select query. So for this we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. Below this, we have write dollar user ID variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch method. And under this, we have write PDO class with fetch asoc method. So it will return user ID data in array format. Now we have write return statement with dollar user id variable so it will return user id details which is an output of this function now again we have go to chat.php file and go to on close method and here we have write dollar user id variable is equal to dollar user data user id variable so here we have store user id details under this dollar user id variable Below this, we have write dollar data status type variable is equal to offline, so this data will be sent to on message JavaScript method. Same way we want to send user ID details to all other connected user, so for this, we have write dollar data user ID status variable is equal to dollar user ID variable. Now we want to send this dollar data variable data to other connected user so for this here we have write for each loop and under this we have write dollar this with clients variable as dollar client variable it will send data to all other connected user under this loop we have write dollar client variable with send method and under this we have write json encode method and under this we have write dollar data variable so here JSON encode method will convert data into JSON format, and this send method will send data to other connected user. Now we have go to private chat.php view file, and here we have go to on message function, 
and this function also received data from onClose method of chat.php class also. Under this here, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write data.status type variable value is equal to online, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. This method has received data from on open method of chat.php class. And under this block, we have write dollar with span tag id user status, with dynamic value of data dot user id status variable. And after this, we have write html method, and under this, we have write italic tag with class is equal to font or some circle class, and bootstrap text success class, so this code will display circle with green color. Next, we have write else if statement, and under condition, we have write data dot status type variable is equal to offline, if this condition true, then it will execute this block of code, and this function has received data from on close method of chat dot php class. So under this block, we have write dollar with span tag id user status, with dynamic value of data dot user id status variable. And after this, we have write html method, and under this, we have write italic tag with class is equal to font or some circle class, and bootstrap text danger class, so this code will display circle with red color, this icon for display user offline status. Suppose above both condition false, that means this function has received data from on message method of chat.php class, and this whole code will be execute under this else block of code. So here our code is ready, now we have check output in browser. So first we have go to command prompt, and here we run php command with bin folder name slash server dot php, so it will start ratchet web socket server. Now friends here, on screen we can see two user like John Smith, and Peter Perker have login into this chat application, and here both user is on private chat page. And in both user area, we can see both user login status display online. Now we have go to Peter Perker user area, and here we have can see logout button, so now we have click on logout button, and after click on logout button, Peter Perker is logout from system. So in John Smith area, in user list, we can see red circle, near Peter Perker name, that means Peter Perker is offline, and he is not login into this chat application. And this status has been changed in real time without refresh of web page. Now again we have login into Peter Perker account, and going to private chat page. After going to private chat page, here in John Smith area, we can see that Peter Perker status has been changed from red circle to green circle, that means Peter Perker is online. So under this video, we have learned how to display user online offline status in real time under this chat application using Ratchet WebSocket library, with PHP script and MySQL database. Lastly, if you have any query or inputs regarding this tutorial, you can ask your query in comment box, if you have liked this video, please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. And lastly don't forget to subscribe our channel for future video tutorials.